What's up, YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. Tonight, in this short video, I'll be showing you guys four Mac security options that every Mac user should know. It's very important that you should know these security options as well. Let's jump right into it. By learning these four security options I'm about to show you, you want to start by opening up your system preferences, like so. If you do not have your system preferences, application down in your dock. You can open it up by going to your Apple logo here in the left hand corner and just clicking on system preferences like so. Once you have that open, the first option I want to show you here, enable the OS X firewall. To do so, you want to go by your security and privacy here. Now this is what we're going to focus on for today is the security and privacy box. That's what I like to call it, the security and privacy box. So. Now that you're in here, you just want to unlock it if yours is locked. Type in your password like so. Once you have done so, you can now access all of these cool features inside OS X Yosemite. That's on your Mac. Now we have General, File Vault, Firewall, and Privacy. Right now, like I said, I'm going to show you how to enable the OS X Firewall. Click on Firewall like so. As you see here, mine is already on. So you have the option to turn it on or off. And it gives you more information about firewall. The firewall is turned on and set up to prevent unauthorized applications, programs, and services from accepting incoming connections. So that's basically what you're doing here. You're just going to not allow your Mac to just have any incoming connection from any source to have access to your Mac or your applications. So just make sure that that option is turned on, not off. Next, we're going to focus on your privacy and sharing options. You want to come up here, click on that box. Now you want to come over to where it says sharing like so. Now, if you look here on the left hand side, you'll see you have a list of different options that you can choose to click on. But if you notice that mine is turned off, that's because I do not want to allow any other Mac or any other type of person in my area to have access to the files that's on my computer. With that being said, you just want to make sure that all of these options here are unchecked because if you check the box you will then allow other users in your home or around the area to have access to your screen sharing and file sharing and printer sharing and remote login and all of that other good stuff that we do not want anyone to have access to on our Macs. So just uncheck all of those boxes like so. Now I want to focus on password management with you all. In order to perform this right here what I'm about to show you, you want to go back to security and privacy like so. Now with this option, you're already probably familiar with this because this is one thing that I'm pretty sure we all do when we first purchase our Mac, and that is lock it up. Now you want to make sure that you have it unlocked already, and you want to just set required password. You can have it set for immediately, five seconds, one minute, five minutes, and 15 or whatever you like. But I like to do my immediately because with that being said, as soon as you put your Mac in sleep mode, it's going to require you to put in your password the next time you touch a key on your keyboard or move the mouse. So if you were to just leave your Mac in a library or in a dorm room or something like that and your friends come in, if you do not have this option checked, they can just have edit at your Mac when they open the screen, you know, such as on a MacBook Pro or something like that, or touch a key on your iMac or whatever it is you may have. So just have this checked at all times. And you can also set a lock message as well. And if you look here, mine says unlock if you wish to die. So that when you set that, if I was to put my Mac in sleep mode and come back and touch it, that will show on my screen immediately before I enter my password. So that's cool as well. And I thought I'd just share that with you all. Now, the last option I want to show you all that I have on my list of security options that every Mac user should know is privacy. Now under privacy, again, if you're here inside your sharing, you just wanna simply click the box in the left hand corner at the top. From there, you wanna to go to security and privacy like so. Then all the way in the right hand corner, you just wanna to go to where it says privacy. Now once you're under privacy here, you have many different options such as the applications that's on your Mac. 
that would like to have access. That's your Mac, of course. So if you were to just check one like location and services, it will then show you all the applications that's on your Mac that's dealing with location and services. So pretty much Safari. I use Safari a lot. So you may go to a website where Safari wants to access your location because you just may be on a website that's got something to do with traveling and information or something like that. So we'll need access to your Mac to let the website know, hey, this person is in Chicago at this address. And this is how far it will take you to get from here to there. So that's what that is, such as contacts and calendars and stuff like that. So I would just basically suggest that you all go through these different applications, find the ones that you mostly use, that you know what it is, and check it or uncheck it, such as whistle phone. I don't even have that application anymore, but it's still checked. So therefore, I'm going to uncheck it. Doc phone, I use that. And just go through the applications to see what it is, like photo view, I don't use that. Because it may be a lot of applications on your Mac that you all may have that have access to your Mac for the location and services that you don't even know about. So I would just suggest that you all go through that, such as your Facebook and your Twitter, and just check it, you know, and make sure that everything is checked or unchecked, the ones that you want, the ones that you don't want. So with that being said, this is your man. Big B Production Watcher, please rate, comment, and subscribe for this video if y'all enjoyed the video, which I hope you did. When you guys subscribe and like my channel, I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. And it also pushes me to make more videos for you all to enjoy. Holla at you.